Hello friends and uh, welcome to this tutorial uh, series about Django and uh, we will be continuing from our last video where we created uh, a Django project and uh, today we will be building a Django app in that project but uh, before we go ahead uh, let's take a look at what Django calls apps so a Django app is a component within an overall Django project uh, in a literal sense, it is a folder with a set of Python files and uh, each Django app supplies a set of related uh, features for a specific purpose. For instance, uh, uh, a Django project might contain a Django app for feature related to a customer or a quotation or uh, some kind of forum or some kind of blog. So it's uh, in you can think of it as a module uh, or a uh, in a project. So for our project, uh, we will build an app that uh, focuses on fast insurance. Uh, so previously, uh, when um, in previous video, I named my project as demo app, but uh, at later point, I thought uh, it's better to take a real world example and uh, it's a fictional fast insurance company and we will be building a insurance uh, project for that. And uh, to build out our app, We'll go to the terminal and navigate inside uh, our project folder uh, where manage.py is and then uh, we will uh, see how it works. So uh, I forgot to do this. Okay, so let's go to terminal and see how to create a uh, Django app. So now I am in my terminal and uh, as I said, I have changed the name from previous video of my project. Uh, uh, that was demo app. Now I have I'm a demo project. I'm calling it as fast insurance and uh, once again This is the command which I used uh, to create a project to start a project So now to create a app what we have to do we have to give a uh, use uh, one Python script and that is Python 3 and uh, So before that I forgot I should be going into that project so I will change into fast insurance and uh, so here is the manage.py and now I have to execute my python script that is pythn python 3 and manage.py and start app and then what's my app name so I am calling it as quotation Quotation. So this is my app name. So it will become uh, you can think of it as a module or an app So however you want you can uh, uh, Think about this. So as soon as I execute this It's going to create uh, Files in my project. So now that uh, we have run the script. Let's open our uh, text editor to see the files that are generated and uh, we'll uh, navigate uh, inside of the fast insurance folder and then go to settings file and uh, we'll see there is a quotation folder created by our script and there are a bunch of files created and we will look into all of these and uh, how it is uh, w which file means what uh, but before that we have to uh, uh, enable this uh, app into our project so we will go into fast insurance uh, folder and then into settings.py and then we will uh, go down and here you can see the installed apps so there are a bunch of uh, apps already available so these are by default created by Django and then we will add our app here so let's so our uh, app name is quotation and then we'll add a comma. So we have added this and we added this setting whenever we install or create a new Django app. Uh, so let's take a moment to look at the role of each of the files in Django app. And uh, during um, this course, what uh, we have started this series, I will be going into more details when we start working on that, but for now, uh, we'll just take a look at the role of each file, uh, each of these as an overview and we will uh, deepen our understanding as needed later. So now let's look at what are all those files mean. So 
apps dot uh, py file controls the setting specific to this app and uh, the models file provides the data layer which django uses to construct our database schema and queries um, the admin file defines an administrative interface for the app that will allow us to see and edit the data related to this app um, the url file can be used to, for url routing specific to this app and the views file uh, will define the logic and also control flow for handling request and define the http response that are returned the test file can be used for writing unit test for the functionality of this app and lastly the migration folder uh, holds files uh, which uh, django uses to migrate the database as we create and change our database schema over time um, so now that we have seen that uh, what a django app is and created our quotation app um, so we have finished generating files for our project uh, to create its overall structure and we are now ready to configure and develop our project and that we will continue over the uh, next few more videos and uh, i hope uh, i'll see you back there thank you bye bye